Hello, I'm very pleased to have Paul Wright with us today. Paul is the Director of Local Media Development at uh, Comcast Corporation and uh, is here to talk with us about the Every, Every Block program. So Paul, welcome. Thank you very much, Dave. Thank you. So tell us, um, how does Comcast hope to create impact in the community through the Every Block program? Sure. So Every Block, just to you know, let you know, we, we consider it your own personalized almost crowdsourced community resource, almost community newspaper. It allows you as a person to, to personalize information you get by the locations you care about, by the things that you want to know, and the way that you want to receive it. So all of those things kind of let you see what's going on in your own backyard. So if I only care about, we're sitting here in Center City East, right in the corner of you know, 8th and Market, um, or 7th and Market. If I only care about what's going on in 7th and Market, that's all I will see, and I will connect with the people that care about those areas, the organizations that are providing content or information about those areas, and it basically provides another platform for me to engage with the community in new ways. What are your goals for every block, and uh, what do you see coming in 2015? Sure. So our first goals were just to launch it. Um, <laughs> you know, every block um, had been in, uh, in existence um, since about 2008, 2009. Um, it was shuttered in 2012, uh, I'm sorry, about 2013 um, by NBC News because it wasn't a strategic fit, hyperlocal versus national. Right. So our first goal was to just to make sure that it was relevant and important to the market. So we launched in Chicago uh, first in January of this year. And because it was accepted so well, and, and I should say re-accepted so well, that we relaunched in uh, Philadelphia this summer. We just relaunched in Denver about, um, about a month ago. Yesterday, relaunched in Boston. And we'll relaunch in Houston next week. So that's been our first goal, just to make sure that it gets up and running and is relevant. The second goal was to really, um, you know, in, in, I don't want to overuse this word, but to truly kind of engage with the community. As, as you mentioned before, our, our goal with Every Block is a, is a community investment, is to show that there are a lot of ways to be a good partner to the community, to be, to use technology to connect people, to help with the discovery of local content. So really it's, getting more and more content in and more and more people in so that we can make that matchmaking even more robust. I see, and did you expect uh, every block to be pretty vital and vibrant through 2015 with uh, plenty of content for people in Greater Philadelphia? Oh, we absolutely believe so. So as I said, we're about 600 feeds now, and I should say that there's, there's three really categories of, of, of content, and each one of them have their own value. So the first um, is uh, what I'll call the user-generated content. We call it neighbor messages mm. in, na in uh, every block. And that's people talking to each other, posting about what's going on in their backyard. Um, just actu actually kind of leading up today, just in prep, I just looked on uh, you know the Philly every block. There was a woman in Northern Liberties posting pictures of someone who had been stealing US UPS packages, and, and so that, that got out. Or um, you know, someone talking about a, a, so that's a crime side, or someone talking about a lost dog or a kitten. So it kind of spans, you know, spans a type of information. The second is, um, you know, open data. And open data is a personal passion of mine, but it's, a, it's an extremely important force moving forward nationwide and really worldwide. It's where you have municipalities taking anything from business licenses to crime to any type of information and making it freely and openly available. So here in Philadelphia, we have 311 information in there. So mm -hmm. I can see that in Fishtown, someone um, reported that there was an abandoned house that they wanted L&I to come over and tear down for safety purposes. And then the third is what we talked about before, the web stuff. Mm -hmm. We create custom locations and are working with everyone from key spots to rec centers to the library to make sure that technology is available and that people can contribute to it and be a leader and participant. That's in wonderful. So a, a small group of uh, citizens in a particular community could band together and um, produce content that would be picked up theoretically oh, by every block. Absolutely. I mean, so because we're aggregating automatically by web feeds and RSS feeds and blogs, all you need is a website or a Facebook page or, or, or a... Yeah, I mean, you have one of those two things, and you make your feed public and you want it public, we can easily pick it up. If we're not, just shoot us an email, mm -hmm. uh, shoot us a note through a feedback form, uh, every block feedback form, and you'll pick it up. And at that point, it's in there. And uh, I can't overestimate here in Philadelphia the, the excitement and importance of having this kind of ability to create your own custom locations, because as you know, 
we argue about neighborhoods basically as a sport here in Philadelphia. So being able to go in and say, hey, you know, this is the area I care about, may cross a couple boundaries and all that, but that's what I care about is, is fantastic. And then all the information, all the people can, your, your colleagues or other folks can follow that area and it becomes your own kind of little sphere of Philadelphia. Nice. As a technology company, among other things, mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, I find it interesting that Comcast's focus seems to be on access and um, engagement within the communities, using technology yeah. as a part of that, obviously. Well, you know, Comcast at its core is a, is a local company. You know, we are, a, we are living and working and, and playing in the areas that we do, uh, you know, have cable systems around, around the country. So being active in the community was a natural, that right. was really the, the you know, the, the driver of, of wanting to have every block, just mm -hmm. new ways to find out uh, there. Paul, thanks so much oh, for your thanks, time. Oh, thanks, Dave, my pleasure. Come back again for more Philly Changer Chats.